hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been today we are going to look at um, your special pdf simply called um, geo pdf you know um it's actually a tool or or let's say geo pdf helps you to export pdfs that have geospatial attributes that's the simplest explanation now it's actually on more recent versions of um, qgis so i think m um, 3.1 and above or something so geo pdf or let's say your special pdf help you to export pdf that has what um, special information and by having that special information one can simply say it is your reference now um, most times you know when you import a raster data set to QGIS you must um, you reference that um, raster data set before ever you can or you should continue whatever you want to do with it but what this um, GeoPDF does is that that particular PDF you have or maybe you will import to QGIS already has what the geographic information of that particular um, vector data that is on the PDF, which means it is actually georeferenced. So that is what we are going to show you how to assess that particular um, tool on QGIS today. So let's assume that maybe you want to send PDF to someone or maybe um, you have a PDF of an area where you worked on and then the person wants to import it to any, um, like say, navigation software or application. You know, it's always easier when the special information or the special tag is on the PDF. So immediately the person loads it on the application or on the software, the navigation will be easier. So for us to achieve that let's say we are working on this particular layer and we want to assess that um, geo pdf so we come to project then we go to what import slash export then we say export map to pdf now under this um, export map as pdf under this window we are going to see that um, particular um, function that we are referring to create geospatial PDF that's what the, uh, the geo PDF we are talking about now as we said earlier it helps you it's an extension of PDF that includes what the special information on the PDF so upon checking this that is upon clicking it you know that the particular PDF that will be created for this object here will be specially tagged. So maybe the resolution, maybe um, depending on what you want. Let's say let's just leave it at 100. I've said 150, but I don't know what it will. Okay, I don't want them to lag. Okay, let's just keep it at that. So we are having the create geo or your special PDF turned on. So we just say what save. Good. So there's a folder we have actually created that we want to work on. So let's just call this test right. Good. So by default, it's still PDF, but we know that since we have checked that um, geo PDF it is now having the special attribute maybe representing it in the geometry it has which can be points lines or polygons and then when you now move it to 
any other processing maybe system in terms of maybe software or application we can be able to um, determine the maybe the distance or maybe you can be able to copy out the coordinates you know these are some of the other applications so these are some of the other things you can do with this particular geotagged or let's say geospatial pdf that we are trying to show to you now so we just will receive good the process is going on then we would have a notification that the file has been created or it has been saved that's complete saving as pdf let's see good so it has been saved so that's how you that's how you create what um a geo pdf we said you can be able to find and mark location coordinates major distances perimeters areas you know and even copy out coordinates and it also helps you in navigation so when you import that particular pdf to any navigation software or maybe application it can easily locate where you are and by that you can easily navigate to wherever you want to go so it's unlike the regular pdf which is more like maybe a raster data set for QGIS, where you just um, import the the pdf as a raster data set but it does not have the special or maybe it does not have any special attributes good before we leave we had to assess the the, the test the test file we just saved and then we had to bring it in it's actually a raster data set we are importing it as a raster data set so let's say add and then close right so this is the this is the test file that we have just what we have just uh, imported to QGIS you can actually see that uh, it's within that particular location where we have what we have exported it and then maybe upon getting to the properties we can still find some information about it and then this can okay identify what the what the file the let's say should we call it metadata of the file so yeah these and some other applications are what you can get from what the geo pdf as we have told you earlier so once again, thanks for coming to class. Please, if you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can support us by subscribing to the channel. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. We are going to see you on our next class. Until then, keep staying safe and have a nice time. Bye.